And traffic around Indianapolis is already picking up. Yeah, this is night one of Taylor Swift weekend, so heavy traffic, of course, inbound downtown. Uh, you're looking live at Lucas Oil Stadium. The gates there are about to open in about 10 minutes. Oh, look at everyone with their friendship bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's zoom out a little bit here and get a check of traffic. Here's a look at I-65 at West Street. This is near downtown, and we know that there are many changes to traffic this weekend for the influx of people here for Taylor Swift. Lindsay Monroe walks us through all the road closures and detours. Let's check this out. Well, it is a big weekend. A lot of visitors here in downtown Indy. And if your plans take you down to one of the three Taylor Swift shows, you need to know a couple of roads that could potentially be impacted or closed around Lucas Oil Stadium. First though, I want to start with some key locations. This is going to be where folks get dropped off or perhaps picked up after the show is over. The drop off location, so this is pre show set to be on McCarty Street. So that's Lucas Oil Stadium, the South parking lot. So that's pre Pre show post show as far as ride share pickups. One will be located at South Street and West Street, so just north of Lucas Oil Stadium and another one just east. That's going to be located in the parking lot at South Street and Delaware Street. That will be the ride share pickup as well as where parents can get their kids picked up as well. So as far as closures go, there's going to be a couple longer term closures that will run from November 1st through the 3rd. That will include Monument Circle closing on the 1st at 11 a.m. through 9 p.m., 2nd and 3rd as well, as well as the stretch of South Street that will run between Missouri and Capitol Avenue. That's going to be closed all three days between 10 o'clock in the morning until after the show ends at 1 o'clock early in the morning. So to go along with that, there's going to be a lot of road closures during that post-show time frame. That includes a lot of local city streets. This extends all the way as far north as Washington Street and as far south as those I-70 on and off ramps. So most of the roads on the south side of downtown will close at 11 p.m. That will run through one o'clock in the morning as traffic starts to leave the area. Also, there are several posted exit routes. If you're traveling north, south, east or west, there will be ways that you will see traffic flowing. That will be your best way to get out of downtown. Also something to note, the I-70 ramps at West Street as well as Meridian Street into downtown, they will be blocked off after the show is over between 11 o'clock in the evening and one o'clock in the morning. Again, these closures are going to continue for the duration of the weekend running November 1st through the 3rd.